Hey guys, David here from Drummer Tech, and today I'm going to be showing off Google Calendar, which is a calendar app made by Google for the iPhone, which includes lots of great features to stay organized. Let's get right into it. So here you can see just the events that I have planned right now. I don't have that many events, but it's still enough to show you guys how to use this. So you can see the schedules I have on my email account right here such as a video coming today at 4 o'clock which is going to be this video and then I have a drum lesson every Tuesday and then and then of course I have this other stuff happening too if I click up there on the 24 button right there it brings me back to my date today which is Saturday the 24th if I click on October over there I'll give you a month to month calendar like this so here you can see just the main four views right here. So we have schedule, we have day, we have three day, and we have week. We also have a search view. So the day view just shows the whole day. So if I swipe over here, you can say I have nothing tomorrow. But on Tuesday, I have this drum lesson here starting at 345. If I go over to three day view, it'll show three days like this. Then, if I go over to the week view, it'll show the whole week, and I can swipe through all these weeks like this. The search view just lets me search for a specific events. So, like if I search for this, then I'll show all my drum lessons coming up. Over here, you can see I have all my calendars from each of my accounts. So here you can see I have events right here, and I also have my default account. Here, let's take a look at the settings. So here, you can see general, we just have start of the week, you can select uh, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. You can also select time zone if you don't want to use the time zone on your device, then you can select your own. You can also show the week numbers, you can show the declined events, and set the default duration for an event. Here's the settings for events from Gmail. So if it detects that somebody has sent you an email with a date for an event, it'll automatically select it. So here you can see what the visibility settings are right here, and you can turn it on and off. These are the apps from Google settings. So if you use these, then it'll automatically add these things from the apps from Google. So if you click on a link that goes to that app, then it'll automatically open the app and not bypass the system app. You can also see that there are very many cool animations like right here on the November. Also if you add an event that has a supported illustration, then you can add that illustration to the event. You can also, when you add a map, it'll show that map on the event. So now let's add an event. So I'm just going to press the plus button down on the bottom. And I'm going to enter the title, people, and places. So here you can just see they give you presets automatically. So for example, if I just press dinner right here, then it'll give me suggestions. So I can say dinner with mom. And then I can select that, I can press done, and then I can add to either of these events calendars. I can select the time, add a location, select the notification, and then I can invite people, change the color. So if I want to change to any of these colors, you can also add a note, add an attachment from Google Drive. And it has an inline Google Drive right there. I can change the calendar privacy and I can change free or busy. So if I save that, you can see it adds that cool little illustration right here 10 to 11 a.m. If I press on it, these are just the details and I can swipe all the way down here. Press delete event to delete it. So guys, that's a quick review of Google Calendar. I think it's a great app and you all should get it if you have a Google account. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time right here on Drummer Tech.